demystifying electronic items. Because you know what, there are a lot of people out there that really hesitate buying any kind of electronics because they, they feel like, I need to take a class to figure out how to use it. Fair. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all the mystery out of it. Good. We're going to give you your confidence back in buying it tonight. And we're going to show you how you can transform the quality of your TV sound. This is Brett Hamilton, one of our electronic experts. Good Hello, to have you back, buddy. Good to see you, man. Nice to see you. Welcome Hello, back to Down Home. This is an item you and I presented before on Down Home. Uh -huh. Very, very popular. My mom owns the Bose Solo System. Okay. Because I bought it for her. Well, that's why. We got it for her for Christmas one year because many times mom's watching TV and she's like, what did they say? I can't hear it. Turn it up. And, or you come in and it's really loud and you're like, mom. And she says, hang on, I need to turn the TV down. I call her and she's like, hang on, let me turn the TV down. So this is what it's all about. Enhancing the quality of the sound as only Bose yeah. can do it. Who is Bose? Yeah, Bose doing nothing but for the past 50 plus years, audio. They're not making blenders, they're not making uh, tires, they're not making other stuff. They're just making sound sound the way that it should be. What do I mean by that? Well, you record an album and it should sound like the way it was produced in the studio. The soundtrack to a movie should sound the way that it does in a movie theater. In fact, we're going to watch a movie. Look what I brought you from the beauty event. I brought you M&M's. Uh, good and plenty's. Wow. A little, a little chocolate. Was Look. this was this from the beauty event on Main Channel tonight? Yeah. yeah. You know, well, we, I've got <laughs> snacks while we watch movies. I so, love that. <laughs> so that was that was just spontaneous because we love candy. Mm. But anyway, mm. so what the, what's the whole idea behind adding sound to your television? I've got a TV. I've got speakers in it. Problem is, TV's getting thinner and thinner. No room for the audio. I'm going to show you the magic trick, and then I'm going to tell you how we do the magic trick. And what does that mean? What it means is you're going to hear this movie, a little bit of it. Through the TV speakers, it's going to say TV. Then you're going to hear the Bose portion of it kick in. Tell me you don't hear a difference. Check this out. This is just a TV. I had been here long enough for them to recognize me. I learned to ignore the whispers. The now, glasses. to the naked ear, so to speak, sounds okay, kinda. At least I could carry Not that good. In peace, they knew not to ask questions. Immediately, the bottom end, the low end, disappeared when we went back to the TV sound. Check this out. When it gets quiet, there is a reason. What if you're in the theater and all of a sudden the sound goes away? And I don't mean gets quiet, it just goes away. It needs to sound like this. It's hard to believe it at first, but I got used to it. Wow. Yeah. All those details all along you thought weren't there, they are. You just have to figure out a way to bring them to life, just like this. Now, I said I would talk about the magic trick and how we made it all happen. The first thing I need to tell you guys is that the volume on this and the volume on this are set exactly the same. We're not turning the volume up because to David's point earlier, on your TV, when you can't understand what the actors are saying or what the effects are supposed to sound like, the natural reaction is I turn it up. What are you doing? You're just compounding the problem. You're making what you can't hear louder. You're not making it easier to hear. So David, they did something pretty incredible. Bose made it easy for you by putting something called a dialogue button. And you got a chance to hear that just now. You heard that actress and you heard everything that she said because they were able to isolate and enhance the actual dialogue, right? Whatever it was that the actor or the actresses are saying. It doesn't have to be a movie. It could be a reporter standing right. next to sirens and stuff like that. But it all happens naturally through Bose. Now, Brett, you have made a compelling argument mm -hmm. that this is going to change the way we hear the sound. Right. And everybody at home is watching this and they're going, okay, I get it. What's the catch? But how do I install it? Yeah. Because if I get this home and I have to take a class or read a book where the print is about this big to try to figure it out, I'm out, right? Yeah. And rightfully so. So what we're going to do is show you how incredibly easy this is. Yeah. We're going to show you what happens when you open the box. I'm going to show you how to do this. That's why we call it What the Tech. Right. We're going to demystify it and make it easy. Here we go. So let's get the imaginary box because this, this is what it's going to look like. You're going to take it out of its box and it'll be two wires. Two wires. When was the last time you hooked up something major like this and didn't have to have a manual and didn't have a wire going in every single direction? The only reason there are two and not one is because it needs power. So the power plugs into the back of the device and it plugs into the wall. You've all plugged in an appliance. This plugs in the same way. Now, here's where you expect me to say, but then you need to do the dit with the thing and the huh. No, you got an optical cable. <laughs> You did with the thing and uh-huh. You, uh -huh. yeah, you don't need to know what any of that means or what an optical cable is. Just know that it's marked clearly optical. You plug this cable into the optical port. The other end of the cable is identical. 
that plugs into the back of your TV where it says optical. Now, any flat screen TV, this will work with. If you don't have a flat screen TV and you're working on a 20 year old television, it will still work there. You'll just use an additional cable and I believe that's actually in the box as well. Most of you will never even need to worry about that. One cable other than the power, David, and you're up and running. And it comes with its own remote, yes? Yes, not only does it come with its own remote, and thanks for mentioning this, a remote that will handle everything that you've got. So if you've got a gaming system, you can teach it to work that. If you've got a Blu-ray player, a DVD player, uh, it'll handle your cable, your satellite, turn your TV on and off. Then and right below where it says BD slash DVD, what is that little signal there? That little sign is the universal sign for Bluetooth. And you hear us talk about Bluetooth all the time when it comes to music and especially Bose. That would be this one. Yeah, so what does that mean? Well, it's a two in one. That means it's not only a TV speaker, but bonus round by hitting that button and by introducing a phone or a tablet or a computer, you can now listen to all the music on your phone from the music that lives inside, or Pandora, or Amazon Music, or whatever it might be, or from a tablet, or from a computer. So now, not only do you have a way to make all of your audio from your television sound good, but now all of your music will sound great because it's coming from the same speaker. And this becomes the television enhancement that the entire family loves. You watch movies on a given uh, family movie night, you're not gonna have to have a great big cabinet to put this in. This can sit right at the base of the television. Yep. It can slide into the, into the entertainment center. Wherever you put this, it's going to provide that great room filling sound as only Bose is able to provide it. So if you've got a Bose Soundwave radio, if you've got the Bose earbuds, you've got the noise canceling headphones, you've got any of the great Bose products, the Bluetooth speakers, you know what this quality is like. And you also know what quality is like on your television set. Is it great? Or is it just okay? Yeah. And would it be better and more enhanced if we could fill it all in? We're going to show you that again. We're going to remind you this is five easy payments and free shipping and handling. Don't let this value pass you by. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. We're spending more time at home, watching great movies at home. We've got thousands of opportunities to watch different things. This is the way to hear them. Yeah, and this is a great way to compare because first up, you're going to hear the speakers built into this television like we all have, but you'll clearly hear and see the difference when we go ahead and actually switch over to the Bose speaker. So back to our diner scene and TV sound to start, meaning the internal speakers first. Listen up. I had been here long enough for them to recognize me. I learned to ignore the whispers, the lingering glances. Not bad, but not Bose. At least I could carry out my work in peace. Immediately, the room fills. But more importantly, you can actually understand her. And hear all the effects. When it gets quiet, there's a reason. And then all of a sudden, it's gone. What happened? Well, we shut off the Bose speakers, and you're hearing the TV speakers, just like you have at home. Probably what you're listening to right now on your TV speakers. But there's hope. One last shot at the TV sound, and then a big finish. Wow. Big, big difference. Yeah. Kevin, we have fewer than 1,000 of these to go around. Remember, this is free shipping and handling and five easy payments on your credit card. Just two cables here. That's it. And you're in business. Yep, one into the wall and one into the back of the TV. It's that simple, I promise you. Whiz, bang, boom, you're done. Yep. This is E229238. Brett, thank, thank you, you for that. And also night, for everybody. the sweets. Yeah. Very nice. We're going to head over here and get ready to wrap this show. We've had tons of fun tonight on QVC2. And want to let you know that as we come to the clubhouse turn,